Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video was going to be on Gervonta Davis versus Hugo Ruiz, and this is the aftermath video, and dude, that was a friggin' brutal-ass friggin' fight, dude. It was literally Gervonta Davis beating the friggin' brakes off of Hugo Ruiz, and going into that fight... He literally dictated the pace, dictated the tempo, was able to get his shots off, being able to get in, get being able to get out, being able to use his head movement, and he literally bullied Hugo Ruiz in this whole fight or in the round that it lasted in. So going into that first round, like I said, Javante Davis, he pretty much just went in, dictating the pace, being able to get in, get his combinations off, and Hugo Ruiz was very content and just sitting back trying to counter shot Javante Davis, which I thought was really weird, especially since Hugo Ruiz is the taller, rangier fighter. I was thinking that he was going to be able to utilize his range a little bit more, popping out the jab, keeping the jab in Javante Davis's face. So at least when Javante Davis is trying to make his way in, he has some kind of offense in his face to try to stop him. But Javante Davis was just setting the pace, getting in, getting out, able to get his combinations off, and he literally used his movement to back up Hugo Ruiz into the ropes. And he came at him with a one, two, three. And that three went right around the guard, and when it hit Hugo Ruiz, you could tell he was effed up, dude, because he kind of wobbled a little bit. Javante Davis went to go back and hit him again, and Hugo Ruiz just pretty much went down to a knee, dude. And when it showed Hugo Ruiz's face, dude, it was all bloodied up, man. He got up in time for the eight count, but the referee asked him if he was okay, but it was kind of fuzzy on what Hugo Ruiz said back to him, but the referee ended up just waving it off, and it was a good thing he waved it off because you could tell Hugo Ruiz was effed up from that combination that Javante Davis hit him with, and Javante Davis just pretty much went in and got a nice fast, swift comeback fight, especially after that layoff that he had. Now, going into the future with him, especially coming off of a fight like this, because this wasn't even really a fight. He barely got any rounds in. He finished the guy at the end of the first round. And it's pretty much time at this point that Javante Davis needs to start stepping up the competition so he's able to showcase his talents against the topper echelon of people in that division. Guys that have the belts like Alberto Machado, guys like Miguel Burchell, guys like Tevin Farmer, and so forth and so forth. Especially when he starts making his way up into the 135-pound division because you already got a guy like Javier Fortuna who's already called him out. and He actually fought on the same card, and he didn't really look that good at all to me, but it is what it is. He kind of has this particular type of style, and even the get in a fight like that if Javier Fortuna would come down to 130 like he said to fight him dude that would actually be a really good next fight for Javante Davis so he would be able to showcase his talents against a better top tier type of opponent but I guess only time is going to tell what's going to happen after this and dude all you got to do is just give him his props man he came in did his job did what he was supposed to do, and he made that work look friggin' super easy, dude, all right? So, I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section, and I'll be sure to hit you guys up, okay? So, I hope you liked the video. Holla at your boy.